So, uh, Roblox is a game. It's actually based on the toys, and if you don't know what Roblox are, they're basically what you buy when you can't afford Legos. Actually, that might explain why this is free to play. So, here we are in character creation, and I'm going to pick the douchiest character I can, who is ironically called Oakley. And let's uh, check out some of the games you can play. So, this game is called uh, Retail Simulator, I think? And, uh, basically you're supposed to make your own store, and, uh, I just don't really know where my store is. Is it this? Nope, that's not my store. First I have to figure out where my store is, and then I can guess I can go on my magical retail adventure. I love how I can just phase through glass doors. Is this my store? It's an empty store. Uh, okay, how do the controls work? Man, there are a lot of menus. I don't know what to hit. Do I, I hit... Do I hit an A? If I hit the A... No? Alright, that would have been way too easy. Okay, never mind. Citanium Store! Yep, that's right! Ye old Citanium's Emporium! Okay, let's see. Can I place a register in here? I mean, I don't have anything to sell yet, but that doesn't mean I can't make some money. Uh, yeah, that that's fine. That looks good. No, don't come in yet. Grand opening is, is soon. It, once I figure out where the button for the ribbon cutting is. Alright, there's a shelf. And more shelves. And more shelves. Okay. So now how do I actually put stuff on the shelves? Alright, you know what? I'm just going all in on candy. I'm gonna have a candy store. Keep on buying the candy. Okay, and now I'm ready to start selling stuff. Uh, I guess? Really, I don't see my merchandise. Hello, come on in! Hi! Welcome to my store! Oh, they're gone already. I could just hire a cashier. Oh, hi! You seem super excited. And look, I freeze framed there for a second. This is a total 80s movie! We're gonna run a wonderful retail store together. This game has done a very good job at capturing the monotony and tedious nature of retail life. Oh, bad memories. All right, let's see what else is available. Okay, this is, uh, I think it's called Treasure Hunter Simulator, and basically I just have to keep digging through sand so that I can find treasures somewhere. Oh. It's like if Minecraft only had, like, one thing you could do, and that was just dig for some treasure chests. Ooh, a treasure chest! Yay, I got more coins! Just going down here. Ooh, somebody already dug this. Oh, no! I'm falling down! <laughs> oh! Oh, hi! You've been digging down a lot, haven't you? Oh, I want to get that treasure chest. Wait, I'm gonna try and get that treasure chest. I can't jump that high. Wait a second here. There we go. Ooh, that's a lot more coins. Okay. My backpack is too full of sand. I gotta fix that. Ooh, there's a really good chest. Let me just... No, no, don't... No, stop digging so I can get the chest. Thank you. Okay, just get this chest. No, no, stop doing that. Your enjoyment of this game is totally dependent on how much the other players annoy you. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I this is a one-trick pony. Let's try something else. Alright, this is Disaster Island. Alright, so it's like a fast-paced game. And they say that there's like sharks and stuff in this game, but you know what? I'm gonna be smart, and I'm just not gonna go in the water. Right? You just stay on land, and you're gonna be perfectly fine. The water is rising. No, 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 don't rise. I don't want the water to rise. Three. So two, basically you just one, have to get to go. the absolute highest point on the island. Disaster Island is crumbling in on itself. No. Oh boy, it's just not gonna stop. So So basically we just wait until we fall in the water anyway. Stupid. No! No! Oh, oh, no, I'm not dealing with sharks. I'm not dealing with sharks. 
leave the game, that's how we deal with sharks. Why is it that everything's all blocky, but the sharks look realistic? Alright, so this is some kind of a beach game? Beach simulator? Something like that? And I guess the main mechanic is that I have to sift sand with this little sifter, and I get money for doing that, I guess. And I have a little crab friend who's going to help me out. Yeah, so that's a thing that we do in the game. Yeah, this is basically the only thing you do. Just keep sifting through sand to get sand dollars. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Why is my head getting bigger? It must be due to my massive ego from getting so many sand dollars. Oh hey, we can upgrade our equipment. Oh no, I'm gonna need a whole lot more sand dollars for that. Come on, George. Back to the good old sand pits. Alright. Oh, sunglasses! Wow, I'm a beach millionaire now. Alright, this is called Snow Shoveling Simulator. People can't get enough of snow shoveling, so... You know, we had to make a game about it. Oh, a parrot! This appears to be a dead parrot. Oh, but I can have the parrot! Excellent! I'm not returning this to the store. Oh, no, no, no. Snow is too thick. The one thing I'm supposed to do in this game is shovel snow, and you're saying it's too thick for me to shovel? What is the point? Oh, hey, I finally found some shovelable snow. <laughs> Perfect. All right. I am really enjoying my snow futures at this point. Going back to the old snow mines. Oh, man, if only I had a plow. Oh, okay. Sell snow? So that's how snow shoveling works? You just sell snow to people? I didn't know there was a market for that. Oh, no. I can't afford the mini plow. <laughs> Let alone the other ones. I only have 109 monies? Is that right? I can't... I can't buy anything. Aw, oh, too bad. I would have really liked to have a snow plow. But I don't have enough monies for snow plows. Just stick with my little sad shovel and my parrot, who doesn't actually help <laughs> in this particular endeavor. <laughs> it's just window dressing. So I suppose for anyone who, you know, enjoys the invigorating experience of shoveling snow, now you can do it 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. All right. Oh, all games unlocked. Yeah, those were the featured games. But now I get to play just any games people have come up with. Look, it got special pizza work, a murder mystery, that's a thing. Um, oh, Battle Royale. There's a theme park tycoon. There's a dinosaur simulator. Uh, Annabelle is a, is a game now. Oh, there's a thing called Shark Bite, where you have one of those other realistic sharks that's way too big just coming after your boat. Oh, good, I have, a, I have a duck boat that I can use to fend off a giant shark. All right, this is supposed to be some kind of assassin game. I think, I think it's supposed to be modeled after Assassin's Creed. That's why this kind of looks like Abstergo. So they just choose a level for you. Oh. Okay, I guess I open that up and close... I, I don't even know how to choose weapons. Oh, okay, I guess we're just gonna go shoot things, just like you usually do in the Assassin's Creed games. I'll take you out. This is kind of hard to aim. This is like original Doom controllers. No, I don't want to open that thing! This is a very jerky movement for an analog stick. Oh, sweet summer child, just staring at a wall. I'm gonna put you out of your misery. And, okay, I guess you're dead now. <laughs> Just fall over. Where did the droids from episode one come in? Oh, I guess... I guess that was it. Well, that ended quite abruptly. Um... Okay. Mining simulator. I feel like I've played this game. Yeah, that definitely looks familiar. 
Woo! I feel like the last time I did this, I was on a beach. Oh, and now I need a power saw to get through some of this. Man, alright, I need specific equipment to mine certain ores. Okay, so I guess I can get better mining equipment so that I can mine better ores and mine them faster and... <sighs> this game is stupid. Alright, just lay down some C4, insta-mining time! And I'll just get some of this space stone while I'm at it, alright. Come on now, see if I can get up to a million blocks mined. I think I unlock a new area if I do that. Just keep blowing it up! Kaboom! This makes mining so much easier. Oh no, it collapsed and filled in! Oh no, collect all the coins! All the coins and all the gems! I'm the only one here, so this makes it much easier. More monies! Five million monies now! I don't really have anything to spend it on, but... My head is now so large that it has impeded my ability to even traverse the environment. Oh, woe is Oakley. There is but one course of action now. I must wander into the sea. Off for greener paths. Oh no, I've fallen through the world! <laughs> no. Oh, it's probably for the best. Oh hey, my head's back to normal size! <laughs>